founder and CEO of Tip Ranks, uh, Yuri Greenbaum. Good morning to you. Good morning. We've had you on a couple of times. Um, we did just say, you know, you're not here to talk about the actual earnings themselves, but who's actually calling it right. Exactly. Uh, so let's talk about who's calling it right and who's calling it wrong. By the way, some of our guests happen to be on his list both for the best and potentially worst. So we can try to figure out uh, what's going on here. Mm. Who do you put at the top of your list right now? So for 2015, uh, the top uh, we we prepared a list of the top five analysts. Number one is uh, Irina uh, Rifkin Koffler from uh, Mizuho, uh, right. which covers healthcare. Uh, so she uh, so her average return on every uh, rating that she issued was about 25 percent in the following uh, quarter, wow. which is of course uh, remarkable. Uh, then we had uh, Colin Sebastian from Robert Baird. Uh, after her, we had uh, Brian Schwartz from Oppenheimer, uh, followed by Benjamin Swinburne from Morgan Stanley, and uh, closing the list of the top five, we have uh, Kevin Reynolds from uh, Wonderlick Securities right. with a 9% average return on his rating. And so is that just on a one-year basis, though? Yeah. That's I mean, a, okay. You need to do it if someone does healthcare, and all healthcare stocks go up because healthcare stocks are doing well. You exactly. need to just do healthcare analysts versus each other. You can't, exactly. Because some people are covering horrible sectors that are their stocks are going to be down so, either way. So, so the beautiful thing about a tip rings is that we actually allow you to adjust how you want to rank these experts. So you okay. can just go and see who are the best ones in uh, different sectors. Do you have Apple analysts? Uh, we do have Apple <laughs> analysts. Did yeah. any, anyone make anyone money? So there was one analyst that actually got fired last year for being bearish and he uh, and he did very I'm well. He surprised. opened his own firm. Yeah, and, uh, so his name is Adnan Ahmed and he used to work for uh, Bergenberg Bank. And He's now the only have, one. He they, was they, the only was, one. On the show, yeah. I know. So he, I know. you should have him on the show, and he was the only one that actually said so. Do you have their names there? To get, get, uh, the specific we're... analysts that cover Apple. Yeah. So, so actually, our best analyst of all times is, a, is someone called uh, Gene Munster from yep. Piper oh, yeah. Jeffrey. But he had him on all the shows. He was dead wrong. Well, you know, Apple. he's been bullish on Apple for six years, so he's been right most of the time, and in the last year, he's been wrong. But uh, let's see what happens so in the next quarter if he changes his rating. Historically, <laughs> if you add them all up in terms of just experts, uh, is there anybody who's clearly beating the market every year? Yeah, there's about 10 to 15 percent of our analysts that have been beating the markets most of the years. So, so, so we don't have anyone with a 100 percent success rate that is always right. They're right. They're just ready to go into a cold streak where they do 10 years where they don't beat the market. That's, 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 that's a but, you know, even, even more importantly, there are financial bloggers that no one is aware of, and these guys are really beating the markets year over year. Most of them, they perform much better than the sell-side analysts. They have less constraints, and they cover a more diverse Diversified, Give us um, some of those, the financial bloggers. So there's a guy called uh, Chris DeMuth from uh, Seeking Alpha right. that performs very well, and David Alton Clark. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, there are about uh, 6,000. I don't remember all their names. And, and the privilege that I have as a Tipperings user is that basically I have 40,000 financial experts working for me. I don't care what companies they cover or, you know, who are they. I just cherry pick the best ones and Do follow their advice. you ever know that they're going to stay hot, though? Uh, aren't you always ready for them to go on like the best one? The performance is yeah, no the next year is like a on a cold streak. So, so uh, if I'm concerned from that on a personal level, yeah. I'm not. No, because I don't. But all I, of them. I, I just think it's so difficult to be right. All, you look at the best hedge fund guys. You know, you think of Paulson, and then the next year he's in gold. From yeah. Two thousand all the way. But, 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 Einhorn, Ackman. I mean, they so, go so, up. They, so, so the what, the way you do it is you don't. I mean, you you can go many ways, right? So we can follow uh, one specific financial expert. But what we do is we look at consensus. Where are the averages? What are the trends? Yeah. If uh, if there are specific uh, sectors that are suddenly right. becoming. How often is consensus right though, and how often is it a, a, a counter indicator? It's it's difficult to measure that precisely. Because because a consensus could be a moderate buy, a strong buy, uh, et cetera. But uh, obviously we have, uh, we, we did our research and we have most of the big hedge funds in the world that are licensing our API following these consensuses of bloggers. And uh, if, if you follow so them they, year over year. So people yeah. are buying your, your API so they can actually tap into your system. Yeah, and create their own strategies. Or and just effectively create a, their program trading based on the strategy itself. Yeah, so, so we have hedge funds uh, using us, but we have in the last two years, have, we've been integrating our service into category leaders uh, among financial uh, 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 brokers. Right. Uh, so we started in Israel with the biggest bank, and then we moved to Europe and started to work with the biggest bank. Bank, and only recently this year we opened our service inside E-Trade, uh, so now it's available to E-Trade users. I have a business idea for us. For oh, you, yeah? we could be we could be co-branded Squawk, uh, you know, tip ranks. How about a mutual fund that changes just simply? Bait? You take the top ten analysts on a given year and then just follow the trades. Could you, could you, could you pull so, that off? So we're actually doing something like that, but yeah. for the top 10% of the analysts, we're looking at the recency and, and the sentiment of them, and we're working with a big uh, investment house on creating. Um, it's called an active fund uh, based on that data. But uh, we're going to talk about that probably next year. Okay. Well, sorry if we uh, just front, <laughs> a little front running on that news, but uh, we appreciate you coming in this morning. Thank you. Thank you very much.